I am basically a hoe for organisation and so being able to organise all of these really gets me going. Hi friends, my name is Joel and welcome back to my booktube channel. If you have yet to check out my July wrap up and August TBR video, you should go watch that because I wrap up all of the books that I read in the month of July, give a little bit of a review about them, and then go into all of the books that I'm excited for in the month of August. And if you've yet to check out my Twitter and all my bookstagram, you should definitely go check those out as well because I post some extra bookish content on there too. For today's video, I have basically been procrastinating organizing my bookshelves for the longest time. I mean, those of you who have subscribed since um, my Caridathon vlog, I think it was, where I repainted my entire room, you know that it's been basically almost a month since I have had my books off my shelf and it's bugged me for quite some time. And so I think for now, I think it should be good for me to just organize my books into some sense of order. I've yet to build my wall shelves. Once I do them, I think I'll be able to organize my books again into something a bit more aesthetic. But I think for now, I just want my books on the shelf so that I have a nice backdrop to my videos. So my methodology for doing my bookshelf organization is as follows. Graphic novels and also books on writing craft are going on my desk shelf. Books with sprayed edges are going to be stored to the side for now because I eventually want to organise them on my trolley. Although there are a few exceptions to this rule, one such exception is Cricket Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo because I do want to have that displayed on my shelf until I get the collector's editions on there, they're on my wish list. I just need to purchase them at some point. I also need to get the very first book in hardback so that I have the black sprayed edge on there too. So I think I'm just gonna organize it by author surname and then I'll have my favorite shelf, I think here or here. I don't know, I don't know, but um, I'll figure it out as I go along. But I just think it's quite a nice casual video today. I hope you all grab your beverages and that you are fully relaxed and yeah. Um, I also had a lot of recommendations from you all about how I can like spruce up my bookshelves as well and make it a bit more presentable, which was amazing. And I definitely think in the future as well, I'll get more items to add to my collection so that when we eventually reorganize my bookshelf again, cause we know how I get with my shelves. Um, but yes, grab a beverage of your choosing and let's get to organizing. Okay. Hi everyone, we are now in like a little organizational zone. Um, so. Okay. Step one to organizing your books is sorting them out into different categories. So I wanna basically move the sprayed edges away from all of these books. I want to move my favorite books away from each other. I also want to move books into paperbacks and hardcovers. But I also finally, finally want to organize my books on Goodreads. So what I'm going to be doing is as I'm going through all of these books, I'm going to be cataloging all of them onto Goodreads. I think I'm just going to make an exclusive shelf called Owned for now because I don't think I would want to properly catalog them at the moment. Otherwise my mind would go insane. I'm going to be using my MacBook to do so because I would use the Goodreads scan feature, however, I'm using my phone to record. This is one of those times where I think having a camera would have been really great because then I can use my phone, but that it's something I can get eventually. I am basically a hoe for organization. And so being able to organize all of these really gets me going. Once I've done all of that, I will then know how many books I roughly own because a lot of my books are also at university. So I'm going to be able to see as well, like once I've organized my uni books as well, how many books I own in total. I don't, I did unhaul a lot of books like years back. So I definitely don't have as much of a collection as I used to. I think I'm currently at like 160, I want to say books. I'm gonna get to cataloging. I'm gonna go onto goodreads.com. We're gonna make this shelf right now. Okay, the own shelf has been created. And so I'm gonna get to adding all of these books 
onto the shelf and also organizing them as and when. So let's get started. Oh my God, this, this book is just super gorgeous and it has a sprayed edge as well. And mm, see, I like the Outlander TV show and I've always wanted to read the books. However, I find these paperbacks are just super tiny and the font is also really like small as well for like a book this sheer size. I wanted to get like the bigger paperback versions. However, they're like more expensive. And so eventually I'll get the bigger paperback versions. But for now, I'm just gonna settle with these ones. <sighs> one thing I also wanna do is when I eventually get all of Alice Oseman's novels, I might put them on one of my shelves as like a, like a little collection thing. I think that would look really nice. I need to get the rest of her novels because they are really colorful. Alice Oseman's definitely an author whose books I do wanna collect. And I know Chanel, really advocates about radio silence and my friend Tia does as well so I think radio silence might be one that I pick up quite soon oh, oh my god cramp cramp in my leg cramp in my leg truth witch I know they've recently brought out new covers of truth witch and I think it's in a box set as well so it's definitely one that I'm contemplating continuing on because when I first read truth witch it was like a five star read for me um, or was it a four? It was a four slash five star read for me. So I definitely think I want to continue again with this series. Also with my Children of Blood and Bone editions that a lot of you have been commenting on that I have multiple editions. I own two copies of the UK Waterstones exclusive edition. I own one copy of the normal paperback, the UK arc. I also own the US arc, the hardback, the Barnes & Noble exclusive hardback. I think that's it. I know they've now come out with a hardback um, box set of the When Dimple Met Rishi series. So I definitely think that's one I'm looking to get in the future as well, because then I can own this entire series in hardback. But yeah, I remember reading this back in like 2017, 2018, and I just really liked it. And I know this now has an adaptation that's coming out called Mismatched, which sounds really exciting. And I'm just really happy for Sandhya Manon for getting an adaptation of this gorgeous book. My friend Caitlin and I both bought this book and she managed to read it before I did. And she has a new book coming out this year called The Cousins, which just sounds really intriguing. And I'm very looking forward to The Cousins. I really... I really enjoyed reading Three Dark Crowns by Kendall Blake and I am just super excited to see um, what happens in the rest of the series because I read the sequel, One Dark Throne, and I really enjoyed it and I really want the rest of these covers because there's three covers for Three Dark Crowns, like three different ones. The US hardbacks are also super gorgeous. Again, would highly recommend reading this series. I own this really cute edition of Anne of Green Gables and Elias recently binged the entire Anne with an E show and I haven't yet done that but I think I'm going to be rereading Anne of Green Gables soon and then watching the show for the very first time so that I can give him my reactions because he wants them. It's going to be super cool and it's definitely one that I think if I can read during this month I will Otherwise, it's probably gonna be next month that I read Anne of Green Gables because I also wanna read Such a Fun Age this month because we are doing a live show at the end of the month for the um, Unfriendly Black Hotties book club, which is exciting. I'll have the Unfriendly Black Hotties links in the description down below, but I hope you'll all come and join us at the end of the month for the live show. It should be super exciting and super fun as well. But yeah, uh, this is just a gorgeous addition and it's definitely one of the collections that I want to um, continue because that's not gonna fall. I recently have been getting into Notion, which is like this really cool organizational software. And so I now have a section in Notion where I have all of like my book collections in place because I also wanna collect the Penguin English Library edition because I made this joke tweet on Twitter that if I collected the entirety of the Penguin English Library, I would read them all and then tier rank them all for you. But now I kind of actually want to do it. So I also need to rebuy this book because the other books in the series are smaller. I'm slowly encasing myself in books. Fun. 
Right. I have wanted this book for the longest time. However, I was actually gifted this today, which was amazing. Um, but I really want the hardcover version of Red, White and Royal Blue. However, it's only available through Book of the Month. And as we all should be aware, Book of the Month doesn't ship to the United Kingdom. And so, yeah, um, eventually maybe I'll get one. But for now, yeah. I've yet to read The Cruel Prince as well, but it's definitely one that I have been told to read by a lot of people, but I haven't got the second or third book yet. But I think I want to get both of them first and then binge the entire series as a whole, because I think it would be quite good once I do that. These are the Penguin Little Black Classics. They're one pound each and they're just really small and really cute. They're also another set of books that I want to own as well because I just think they'll look really nice. And especially when I just want to pick something really quick up, I can just be like, oh, okay, I want to read The Fall of Icarus. Or I can be like, oh, um, Goblin, oh my God, Goblin Market by Christina Rossetti. English students, you know, I think I think every English student goes through Goblin Market at some point in their career as a English academic and face licking. That's all I'm gonna say. The Chronicles of Ixia are also a series I've been meaning to get into for the longest time. However, I just haven't found one, the time, nor two, the dedication to binge read a six book series on top of everything else that I want to do. So I'm just like, hmm, I think I'll get round to it eventually, but for now, I can just have them all look cute on my shelf. I have the first book in this series. I have the third book in this series, but I am missing the second book in this series. I don't, I don't know what was going through my head when I decided to buy the third book instead of the second book, but here we go. These editions are questionable. I'm personally more of a fan of the US editions. However, I have these ones. These ones were weirdly left to me. There was a box outside my door that just said, take me. And so I did. I still don't know who gave me these books to this day, but I have them. I think I do prefer the US editions and I do want to get the US editions at some point. Oh my god, we're on the very last pile. We're done. We are done. Done, done, done. So that took me an hour and 25 minutes. But now all of my books are sorted onto my Goodreads in the own section. So now comes the fun part, which is part two. I have all of my books organised in piles, depending on size or... Um, <laughs> the type of book they are. So I have smaller hardcovers, mass market paperbacks, bigger hardcovers and bigger paperbacks here, and then just like normal size paperbacks and stuff around. So I just need to kind of figure out how I'm going to arrange them on the shelf and where I'm going to put them on the shelf. I'm definitely thinking this is going to be my favourite shelf where I put a lot of my favourite books. Going down the list from here down, I think I'm literally just going to do big hardcovers, then small hardcovers, then paperbacks. So We'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I definitely think I will probably change this up at some point because I definitely want to try and get rainbow shelves, but I don't know if I have the colour capacity yet to do it. I think I definitely want to get some more brighter books that look really nice, and I definitely want to get books that will make my bookshelf pop a bit more, like completing the Penguin English Library collection, maybe. And then the Penguin Drop Caps editions, though. They are gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. And I definitely want to collect those as well at some point. I just have a lot of book collections that I want to collect. Like having a something that you want to collect just gives me a lot of passion because it sets a goal and you can see immediate progress with each thing that you get. So it's definitely something that I thrive off and definitely something that I like to enjoy. But yeah, let's get putting these on the shelf then.
so yeah i am super happy with how i've organized my shelves i think they definitely look a lot cleaner and a lot more full now i just need to add some extra touches but i think i'm not going to do that today because it is six o'clock and i'm a hungry person i did get the devabad pin that i ordered from fable merchant today and it just looks so beautiful it says be careful of what you wish for so i think it's definitely gonna sit for now where the devabad trilogy is and yeah i really like my bookshelves <laughs> definitely my bookshelves are going to change again once I get the wall shelves up and I kind of figure out where I want everything like I think my romance books are probably going to go on one of the um two wall shelves as well just so that they have their own space it's nice to have books back on my shelf again because it just makes my room seem a lot more lived in and full um I don't know how I'm going to organize my goodreads shelves yet but if you have any suggestions pop them down in the comment section down below but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button so that you're notified whenever I upload next. This week's shout out fates goes out to Ali from Ali with Books. She recently did a video where she recommended some booktubers and she very kindly recommended my channel for her video. And I was just so honored and it was so sweet. So definitely go check her out. I'll have her channel in the description down below. As well in the description, I'll have some book vlogs and bookstagrams that you should go check out because we need to support everyone in this community. If you want to find me on any other platforms, I have all my social media links in the description down below. And if you want to support me any further, I have my coffee link in the description, which you can use to donate any amount of money towards myself, which will be used to go towards buying books, purchasing upgrades for this channel, such as a new camera, hopefully soon, and funding trips to places like BookCon or other bookish conventions in the near future. I have an Amazon wishlist in the description down below as well that you can use to to buy me books as well but as always those options are optional and I just appreciate your support. Also let's try this if you've gotten this far in the video comment a sword or a knife in the comment section down below so that I know you've gotten this far but yes I guess until the next video and by the next video I have a exciting announcement that will be coming out on Sunday so stick around for that and yes until then bye friends. <laughs>